How have things been going with you? I can finally sleep. I have some energy. We had sex. Whoever makes this drug is going to be rich. I was asleep and I woke up. That's all I remember. It's about Emily. There's been an incident. We take it sometimes for granted that we hit problems on the head with drugs rather than perhaps looking at the root of the problem. The advent of really good medications has changed the way we approach the psychiatric patients. What do we do? Instead of laying on a couch for an hour a week, people go and see their psychopharmacologist or a psychiatrist for 10, 15 minutes. There are things we can do to make this work. There are still other SSRIs. SNRIs. I've tried everything else. It isn't so much about exploring the underlying causes Five, as it is about changing the chemistry of the brain. And action. Who's completely out of it. Maybe it won't happen again. Maybe it was a one-time thing. We are moving toward being a society which just wants to medicate its problems away. I have a patient with some similar issues. I put her on a Blixer. She has a sleepwalking episode, and during that, there's a horrible crime. <laughs> Murdered. She walks in her sleep. That's maybe why she doesn't remember anything. It's a side effect of this medication. These drug names are part of our vocabulary now. It's not a violation of the pharma code to buy you doctor's lunch. We're starting a trial for our new anti-anxiety drug. Too busy? What do you need? Drug companies go to physicians and ask them to participate in studies, and they pay them. Nobody has had a, a client react to a side effect. You take no responsibility. For her body's reaction to a medicine. The script that Scott Burns wrote is twist-filled, and then it turns ultimately into a whodunit. I don't think you should be my doctor. People don't really make thrillers like this anymore.